The year 2050 is barely 30 years away. Looking at how much life and technology have changed for all of us around the world since the year 2000, 2050 will more than likely look like a scene straight out of a sci-fi movie. But are we looking at a bright and positive 2050? Or is it going to be another 2020? Let's take a look at some key aspects of our daily lives that will be altered greatly by 2050. Nanotechnology. This could potentially have a video of its own. Essentially, nanotechnology is the creation of any application on the nanometer scale. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter, making nanotechnology all about reliably manufacturing technology at a very tiny scale. From applications in science to technology, medicine, warfare, and more, nanotechnology is highly versatile and there is no telling how advanced it would be by 2050. In the medical field, the use of nanotech for the development of antimicrobial resistance holds great potential, as this approach may enable early diagnosis of antimicrobial resistance infections, allowing for effective treatment in patients as opposed to improper use of antibiotics at a late stage of infection. To understand the severity of AMR infections, AMR has been declared to be a major global health crisis by the World Health Organization and has been predicted to cause 10 million deaths by the year 2050. But with the incorporation of nanotechnology, many lives could potentially be saved. For use in the military, medical and casualty care for soldiers will see major improvement. For example, wound dressings coated with certain nanomaterials allow for control of the release of drugs and proteins for a specified period of time which can ultimately accelerate wound healing. Current research in nanotech has also allowed the development of durable and light non-woven fabrics that can repel and absorb water and repel fire. Many believe that nanobots will one day be fitted into our brains and be connected to our nervous system for greater functioning of the mind and body, as well as for furthering human connectivity. You may find this far-fetched right now, but remember, it was only about one century ago when space travel and exploration were only treated as science fiction. If just 30 years ago the internet didn't exist, then what could possibly be the next big technological breakthrough? Population growth and increased living demands. The global population is projected to grow considerably by 2050. In fact, according to the World Population Prospects 2019 report, compiled by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, the global census rolls will account for about 9.74 billion people by the mid-century. Another report in 2020 estimates that by 2050, roughly 68% of the population will live in urban centers. The infrastructure and resources needed to meet this demand will add much stress to the surrounding environments. Urban expansion means that more land needs to be cleared to build infrastructure, more water needs to be diverted for utilities, more electricity needs to be generated, and more agricultural land needs to be set aside for growing food. But does it need to be like this? Luckily, there is an upside and solution to all this growth. While more people means more in the way of need, it also means more in the way of production and innovation. As a result, cities in 2050 will be built and modified to provide for the basic needs of their populations in ways that are sustainable. This leads us to smart living. The idea of quote-unquote smart homes is one that has really taken off in the past decade. The concept builds on the idea of smartphones and other such devices, which are accessible anywhere there is an internet connection. In the case of smart homes, a person will have access to everything in their home, including appliances, utilities, and other devices through Bluetooth and wireless internet. In the future, this will extend to the point where the Internet of Things becomes a reality. This concept refers to the way in which the digital world and real world will become intertwined like never before. People's experience of the real world will be increasingly mediated through augmented reality, virtual reality, and the help of artificial intelligence. On top of that, the ability to connect with just about anyone and everything will revolutionize the way we live. And we've already had a preview of this during the recent pandemic. All of this coupled with the idea of tiny homes becoming increasingly popular may just be the adjustments required to have a sustainable future in 2050. Space for all and connectivity for all. Energy consumption and recycling. The potential loss of energy sources and natural resources on Earth should be feared by everyone. The need to find renewable sources of energy to power our daily devices and vehicles has been around for nearly three decades. But by 2050, there may be more than enough alternate green sources of energy and natural resources. Here are some examples. 
To prevent stress on the existing water supply, most of what is needed for irrigation will come from rainwater capture, grey water recycling and water reclamation units. It's also a safe bet that by 2050, many homes and domiciles will have a 3D food printer dedicated to manufacturing nutritious meals tailored to specific tastes and dietary requirements. Future cities may include large numbers of artificial trees, bioreactor facilities and carbon-absorbing structures built right into their facades. As an added bonus, carbon dioxide that is scrubbed from the air can be easily converted into biofuels using bioenergy with carbon capture and storage technology. Buildings equipped with a carbon capture apparatus will therefore be able to create biofuel perhaps as a backup power source, but also as a local supply of fuel for vehicles that still run on biodiesel. There are already steps being taken and promises made to be rid of any harmful energies that could increase pollution to dangerous levels. In October 2022, a United Nations organization adopted a long-term aspirational goal of making carbon emissions from air travel net zero by 2050 in response to a growing pressure for airlines to reduce their pollution. Several major environmental groups praised the move, saying it could boost the production of sustainable aviation fuel. But multiple activists have stated that it will be difficult to push countries to follow up with policies that actually reduce emissions. Convenience through technology Door-to-door -door delivery services will likely become increasingly automated and involve smart cars, shuttle pods that drive around on their own tracks, and of course, aerial drones. We are already seeing that happen with Amazon drones and various other proposed delivery services coming our way. Similarly, just about everything will be doable from the comfort of home, especially when it comes to working. Another thing seen during the first year of the 2019 pandemic. Home offices with high-speed internet will become the norm, meetings will be virtual, and traveling for the sake of business or attending conferences will be largely unheard of. Be ready to travel only for vacations and to some strange otherworldly places too. More on this later. Even education will be conducted within home walks. Children will log into virtual classrooms where they are guided with the help of a teacher or artificial intelligence. Haptics technology will provide the sensation of hands-on education, eliminating the need to be physically present in a classroom. As the years go by, the advancement in robot technology and artificial intelligence will also grow exponentially. An explosion in the use of household robots is also projected to take place by 2050. These could take the form of mobile units or next-generation appliances that are integrated directly into a room. These robots will be able to handle everything from regular household maintenance, cleaning, preparing food, and other such tasks. However, it is quite uncertain whether these amenities and conveniences will be affordable to everyone. Transportation Transportation is sure to get a lot easier too with the advancement of AI. Cars and other vehicles will soon be self-driven, leaving a human driver out of the equation entirely. We soon won't be needing to travel short distances only by road, but also by air. So it's no wonder why Elon Musk's electromagnetic elevated transport system, the Hyperloop, will be the next innovation in travel by traveling underground at astonishing speeds of 310 km per hour. And all of these changes will be happening in less than 30 years. Who knows where the human race might be living in the year 2100? Be sure to hit the like button and comment below what aspect of 2050 you can't wait for.